My name is Chris Dabrisky and uh, my company is Keen Additive Manufacturing. Uh, we're based in Keene, New Hampshire. We do contract work for machine shops in the local area. We do um, design Prototype. work. Um, we were actually a lighting company and we were making um, Bluetooth mesh control light fixtures. So as we were developing this light fixture, we needed a special end cap to house the Bluetooth electronics and that wouldn't block the, the signal. We got into 3D printing, um, taught ourselves 3D modeling and then 3D printing so that we could make these end caps in uh, and sell these fixtures to help uh, to help fight COVID. And then we started to do work for, for other companies um, in 3D printing and that's when we uh, started Keen Additive Manufacturing. And then one of the things that we moved into is designing, producing a proprietary product section for the fishing industry. My father invented this and holds a patent on it and he was making this flotation out of foam. And it was a difficult process to machine foam, cover it in epoxy, it's messy and difficult to scale up. Now we have this design where we can print this float you know, all in one piece, it's hollow on the inside so it acts as flotation. It really changed the aesthetic of this product um, while keeping the same functionality and made the manufacturing process much easier. Um, and I think one of the huge benefits of 3D printing is how quickly you can get a part into your hand. This end cap is a good example. It was just something that didn't, didn't exist. We had a need for it. Um, a few hours of design time, a few hours of printing, and you have a part in your hands. Be able to look at them and feel them and touch them and see it in the real world that quickly is a huge, huge benefit for 3D printing. Another huge benefit of 3D printing is be able to make on-the-fly design changes or iterations. If we want to, you know, add add in a name here or add in a logo or anything like that, it's a it's a simple change. Whether it's a functional design, aesthetic design, or anything like that, being able to um, not be locked into a certain design because you made a mold and you had to order a thousand pieces, so you're locked into that design and you want to make small changes. It's a huge benefit of 3D printing. And as we're continuing our design, again, iterative design and making changes and, and doing all those things, we can go into a, an entirely different look that we're testing out now. Uh, the reason that we went with raised 3D printers, as we were looking to upgrade our printers to more professional printers, um, IDEX was one of the big determining factors that we were looking for in a printer. It really opens up your uh, design capabilities when you have the, the, the two extruders. It really helps. Also, you know, uh, reliability, support around the machines. So price was was, was a big draw. Um, the, the E2 initially that fits into a great a great price point, um, especially when you look at it as an IDEX printer and you you can any small parts you print two parts. So you're getting the you know two printers essentially for the price of one. At that, we were next looking uh, you know, more Z capacity so we could print these standing up. So we went to the Pro 3. It takes maybe one or two test prints to get a G code and get all the settings perfectly. And then we account for almost no failures. We had zero issues with the Pro 3s. You just, you know, take the part off, hit go, it runs another one, and it's really been awesome. It's really increased our throughput by, I don't know, more than double. So when you're looking at a part, you put it in and it's, it's a 30 hour print. Um, and now it's a, it's a 12, 14 hour print that really changes the way your, your outlook on capacity and all of that. So it's, it's been pretty, pretty impressive upgrade for sure. And we had a job came in recently that was a rush order. They needed it and done in one to two days. And it was a pretty tall part. It was a big part. It was like a, a 50 hour print, but with the, the hyper speed profile, it ended up being like a 16 hour print. So we were able to get it going, put it right off. And the next day it was, it was shipped out to the customer probably wouldn't have been able to get the job to take the rush job like that. And then also one of the big things was the integration with Idea Maker. Having Idea Maker profiles already set for all the raised 3D machines to um, all the different materials uh, is really a huge time savings. You know, you're beginning from such a good starting point that the failures are, are, are few and far between. When you can open up that profile, plug in some good filament, get your part, in your high degree of confidence that the part is going to come out really clean. The integration of Idea Maker and Raise Cloud with all the machines makes everything very efficient. You can run it all wirelessly. It tracks all your print jobs. Um, you can really see, you know, if there's any issues with any machines. So all those things have been uh, 
a huge benefit for us and, and very happy working with, with the raised printers. The E2 CF is you know, on our list of uh, machines that we're looking at getting. So we uh, got a sample part of, uh, I believe it was glass filled nylon uh, and very impressive part. We received it really quickly. Maybe a week after we submitted the form, we had the part in our hand. Very cool that it uh, came with the, the support material so you can kind of get a feel of material, what it looked like, how well it fits to the part. Um, and then one thing that I noticed, kind of material specific, um, is just how stiff um, and the quality is outstanding. Bottom, you know, bottom surface looks great, top surface looks great, details, the holes and everything really, really impressive. So uh, I think it's definitely something that we're looking at is the, the E2CF to get, to get parts like this. Overall, we've been very happy with our raised 3D printer. All of our expectations have been met, certainly. Um, as you can see, we, we've you know ex expanded from just the, the one E2 uh, to more printers. We've been very happy with um, the whole ecosystem. Raise Cloud's very easy to use. Idea Maker yeah, is very good when it's tied directly to the, the Raise printers. Um, I mean, no printer is perfect, so you're always gonna have some maintenance things here and there, but uh, support is, is very quick to respond and help solve issues and uh, get parts out to you as quick as you can. So. Overall, we've been very happy with the, the Raze kind of ecosystem and, and support from Raze 3D and, and looking forward to, to more printers coming out in the future.